Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2022 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Dusk Edition. Now this one is more of a military colored style exterior. Um, it is also probably one of the most off-road capable trucks for its size unless you upgrade to the ZR2 Bison which I will be doing a video on very shortly. Um, Starting off up front, you do have the ZR2 style grill, and it actually kind of looks reminiscent of the Chevy 2500 work truck style grills. It's very big and bold and in your face. Down below, we have two red powder coated tow recovery hooks that have a metal skid plate in between. We also have a modified bumper for the ZR2, which allows for greater approach angles. Also, if you look closely too, you'll be able to see the off-road suspension that Chevy puts on the Colorado ZR2. Headlights haven't really changed all that much. Uh, still incandescent and projector headlights. You do have this kind of two-tone on the hood, which looks pretty cool. A little bit more aggressive fender flares. Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax on a black wheel. And the tire size is a, if I can find it, 26565 R17 rock sliders that are the length of the cab and if you look closely too you can see there's a thicker coat of paint along this rocker panel and that's in theory to protect it against rock chips and then eventually paint corrosion and stuff like that so I really appreciate that Chevy goes really thick on the off-road stuff uh, even on their more on-road stuff like the RST and stuff like that you, it's still noticeable so they do a really good job I, I appreciate that Colorado is blacked out, color matched mirror caps and door handles. You got the ZR2 chase rack, ZR2 badging, bumper with increased departure angles, seven pin and four pin connector. Chevrolet is stamped into the tailgate and then you have your black Colorado badging as well as your ZR2 badge. Backup camera is gonna be right here. This chase rack does have a functioning third brake light and obviously aftermarket light pods. Capless fuel fill port. Again, there's a closer look at the shocks. Only, only thing that would make this better is if it had the Duramax diesel. That would be super, super cool. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So the Colorado hasn't really changed since it came out. I mean, it's pretty pretty basic and standard. This is more of a bare bones off-roader in my opinion. You've got all your window controls right here as well as your mirror controls, exterior lighting controls, transfer case, integrated trailer brake control to the left of the steering wheel, instrument cluster, you have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, tiny LCD screen in the middle, Working our way back to the steering wheel, it is a nice leather wrap steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. It is heated. Cruise control buttons are going to be right here. Hands-free call buttons right there. And then the control pad for the center LCD display. This guy does have the Bose Premium Audio Group. Little storage tray right here. Older style touchscreen display. All the physical buttons for the radio are going to be right here. Your dual zone climate control buttons are gonna be right here. And this is kind of where the ZR2 shines. So you got your off-road or your uh, traction control off button, rear locker, front locker, hazard lights, trailer tow, hill descent control, jellyfish launcher. Kidding, that's the uh, cargo lamp. And you got your heated seats. And something that I really like that Chevy does is they give you the option to have your, he your back heated as well. And then I believe I saw online that this was actually a chapstick holder. Uh, if you can confirm, please put it in the comment section below. SD card reader, two USBs, an auxiliary jack. Gear selector, pretty standard. Two cup holders, wireless charging mat. Right here we have a pretty deep storage compartment for this size of truck. ZR2 is stitched into the headrest for the driver and passenger seats. This guy's got one glove box, which is pretty big, again, for this size of vehicle. Incandescent for the passenger and incandescent for the driver for the vanities. 
a glass of storage up top, dome map lights, auto dimming rear view mirror. Like I said, not much has changed uh, in the, what, eight years it feels like, 10 years that this vehicle has been out and about. Nothing against, uh, you know, General Motors, if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it, but it would be nice to kind of update some things every once in a while. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna try to make it in here with my fat butt, but uh, you do have under seat storage that is lockable. Pull this little lever, that'll fall down, pull it again, and then pull up on the seat. No storage behind the driver, but you do get storage in the form of a pouch behind the passenger seat. Two USBs, 12 volt outlet, and then a little storage tray fold down armrest slash cup holder and then a manual sliding rear window your dome map plates are going to be up top and your grab handles are going to be right here let's take a quick look at the bed now this being the zr2 the more expensive of the vehicles you'd expect a dampened tailgate which I honestly did not expect until now. So we're learning things as we go. Spray in bed liner, four tie down points, one in each of the four corners, full size spare. And I believe all of this stuff can be ordered from the factory. You don't have to uh, source it aftermarket or after you buy the truck. You can actually buy the truck and take delivery with all this stuff on it. Tailgates closed, very easy, pretty, uh, pretty basic. So there you have it. That's the 2022 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Dusk Edition. Um, like I said, it is pretty bare bones, uh, but it is extremely capable. If you look at any other truck in its class or segment, I think you're gonna be very hard pressed to find anything that compares, except for the Bison, which I will be doing next. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. It does greatly help me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you wanna keep up with more Chicago Auto Show news content or be alerted on new cars that are coming out throughout the year, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Be sure to check out the video description below for all of my YouTube channel affiliate links. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.